Hello everyone, my name is Jean-Marie from uh, Denison Yachting. I come to you today with a 2002 Beneteau 42 CC CC for center cockpit. It's quite a rare opportunity to have this listing because not many uh, 42 CC has, have been built. And uh, very interesting layout, very interesting boat, perfect boat for a family of four or for a couple that want to uh, sell away or just use a boat for the weekend to the island. Uh, center cockpit mean a very wide and comfortable owner suite aft. Uh, this vessel has two cabin. Uh, Pullman forward, a double cabin, Pullman like uh, layout and uh, um, very well protected cockpit from the outside, a, a, a large wide uh, platform on the transom, Bliss is equipped with a very strong uh, stainless steel arch that is used for as a, for David to lift the tender and uh, the, the arch is a support for three solar panels 200 watt each and uh, there is also the arch support uh, uh, outboard lift which is very practical and also um, a brand new um, uh, wind generator. Here we are the bow. She has a furling Genoa, a furling main in her mast, a spinnaker pole. She comes with a spinnaker and she comes with a tender and a hard board. She's well equipped and ready to go. The previous owner for five years did sell her to the South Pacific and came back to California. So this is really a, a blue water vessel. Here we step in, step up um, cockpit. As you see, it's very wide, very deep cockpit, very safe to run the vessel for this location. All the line come back, come back to the cockpit, so you run the boat. No need to go outside the cockpit to run this boat, like in every modern yacht. There we are on the transom, very wide platform. Got sun bath and hanging up there. Uh, here we see the outboard lift and uh, we notice the TV antenna. Very strong, very uh, uh, well-built structure. There we have the three uh, solar panel. And uh, solar panel again. The can see the TV antenna, brand new TV antenna, and yes, on the starboard side, the wind generator. So, so two big spotlight are uh, part of the equipment of this uh, arch. Okay, here you have two big lazarettes with a lot of storage. And then the main and pencil uh, traveler. So we're going to move forward and step inside the cockpit. Well, you have, a, you have a, all the cockpit portion are included in the, with the boat, and they are inside the boat right now. 
starboard side, you can see forward the, the cockpit, you have the engine instrument and two uh, display, remote display, at the rear you have a remote in action, chart plotter, you have a remote in auto helm, 6001 plus autopilot, you notice the, the, the wheel is folding, very practical to walk around. Yeah, this is autopilot control. You have also the windlass control. The ones you are installed recently, the windlass is absolutely new. And we have, of course, a magnetic compass. I'm stepping now. Great spray hood. Spray hood. Great dodger. Bimini. Very well protected. I think there is netting. Around a little bit, 2330 or 2324 hours in the engine. The engine is Yanmar 50 horsepower. Here we have the spray wood, fiberglass spray wood opening, and a dodger. Plug. Now we are ready down, four step to go down in a large salon area, right down the uh, foot step, I think a four step, double ta table that can be dropped and transformed in a sleeping area, here you have the electric panel and here you have a charger inverter control and a Victron battery control but battery monitor batteries monitor a lot of storage and notice how the woodwork is still perfect no dent no scratch same on the floor uh, very wide and very well designed inside cockpit for across the, the salon table you have a nav station a nav a navigation deck desk uh, with SSB VHF and a uh, multi-display multi control a view on the salon from the forward cabin. The forward cabin is a Pullman cabin, double bedding. Here we are on the starboard side. The Pullman cabin with a double bedding. What you see on top of the bed, on top of the bed, are the cockpit cushion, and uh, on the port side of the city. Forward, you have a wide uh, bath area for the guest cabin with a sink and a wet shower. Come back to the salon. Pass the nav station. Here we have the galley, a linear galley, with a new black, new fridge just installed, a water dispenser. On the left you have a, a, a bottle holder. Then you have a stove, a gimbal with two burner, a double sink, and a top loaded fridge, and. Here, yeah, this one, and a uh, top load uh, freezer. This one with, yep, yeah, top load freezer. Now you can see now the control, temperature control for the fridge and the freezer. What I like about this uh, layer, uh, this galley is you have a three big 
uh, opening on top of the galley through three arches, rectangular arches. Now you see there's a lot of storage and uh, uh, microwave, a lot of storage. Very practical, very well designed. Galley, as we pass the galley, we arrived at uh, owner uh, cabin, very wide, because this is why center cockpit design provide a huge space on the back to build a very comfortable owner suite. City on both sides, a lot of opening for great ventilation, also a vanity built in in front of the bed, uh, hanging lot locker behind this door, and uh, another opening arch. Great space and a just above large arch that can be opened for ventilation and you have a opening access to the back of the engine <coughs> under this vanity deck. As we turn around we're gonna see the huge big bath with a separate shower and again plenty of a opening on the top uh, side of the panel. I think there is three different arch you can open so create a lot, uh, a lot of ventilation and can remove some moisture of the, coming from the bath. Going back to, to the galley, walking forward again to have another look at uh, the main salon and we it's gonna complete this is a hyper that's gonna complete our show for the inside so perfect boat for a family of four with, uh, for a family a couple with two young kids or a couple that sometime will invite guests to spend a weekend with them great boat simple easy to run to maintain and uh, to operate I like the fact that on a boat this size even you could have a generator you don't need it because of a wind generator a solar panel you have plenty of power to recharge your battery wherever you are because from my point of view on 42 feet if you had a, a generator and a, even an air core you're gonna you're gonna uh, use a lot of space and that will uh, remove storage space uh, space could be uh, too much I don't know. A uh, new windlass just recently installed. Uh, very powerful windlass. Nice looking boat. I like her. Uh, straightforward boat.